Well, folks, I'm officially done sealing the rock now on the cabin. I did uh, basically 140 lineal feet. Now, that other end, I already had that done. But, you know, it looks just like it did the day that I did it. Just like these two right here, they will probably go ahead and dry with that sheen on there. I really like that effect. And they told me that that's what all the contractors like. But if you've never used that Eagle um, Super Seal before, because I had never, let me recommend it because out of that 140 lineal feet I only used I think about half of that so it's like two and a half gallons and I did it twice so maybe I'll hold off and keep the other next year and go ahead and give it a couple more coats but uh, yeah really like that stuff so I've got all of the mortar and all of the rock now watertight and sealed Well, the tiny house is now gone. I'm going to have to get in there and move those blocks and get all that cleaned up. But um, had somebody that needed it a whole lot worse than I did. Um, but that will give me a chance to get this area cleaned up. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put like a one car garage up here that I can park my truck in. I'm not really sure. We'll just have to wait and see. But I um, thought I would film a little bit of that to show you guys how they move those tiny homes.
makes it a little easier if you actually take a screwdriver about every inch or so and just pry that just a little bit. Don't have to fight it nearly as much. Somebody wants to go chase the ball. Huh? You wanna go get the ball? Go. Bam! Well guys, as I promised, I'm up here at my neighbor's house and you know, he and I, I just have to say, we're really blessed, right? We are blessed. Because y'all remember that show, The Odd Couple? It's kind of like he and I. Isn't it really nice for neighbors to be helping neighbors? You're going to have to quit promising people stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. We, we should have rehearsed something before we actually filmed it, right? <laughs> so I've got this thing laid out. What I'm going to do is try to take this wheel right here and we're going to try to cut that off so that it will fit and then we're going to have to take a hammer and bend it out. Well, folks, this is what he came up with um, after we cut it off, which didn't take very long. But I think once I get that screwed on there, then I'll be able to use that and, you know, kind of regulate the heat somewhat. But he just loves it when I come up with little projects like this to do that are kind of challenging, don't you? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I could do without it. I could. He, he's brutally I live, honest. I live 75 years without it, so I can I can go on a little bit further. But you've never made one of these, have you? No, nope. no. That's the first time. 
Yeah. That's what you call ultra salvaging. Yeah. I thought I was going to throw that thing in the dump, but then I decided, you know, I'm going to go ahead and keep that because I might could use it for something, and so it just might work. Anyway. Look at all the carbon we saved. I know it. I know it. All right. Well, let's get this up there and see if we can't get it installed. Well, we now have the door to the fire pit uh, where it's functional um, for no more than what we're going to use it for. Uh, I've still got to put the metal on the smokehouse and some decorative pieces that I plan on putting on there. But um, this project right here is pretty much done with the exception of being about two weeks away from smoking a pig. But the reason I put that six inch black pipe in there, I got to thinking that that four may not be enough. And I didn't really have the ditch uh, fully com covered up yet. So I went ahead and pulled it out, plus I had some folks write in and say that the um, um, other pipe, that silver pipe that I was using, uh, could off some gases uh, since it's covered with zinc um, if it gets up hot enough to a certain temperature. So just to uh, be on the safe side and not spoil any of the meat, uh, we went ahead and replaced that. I've got a damper down here as well as that little piece up top that you can slide to help regulate the smoke and any heat that may because it's not the uh, heat that you want to cure your meat. It's the smoke. Basically a cold smoke uh, or smoke without the heat. Um, but anyway, I went ahead and put that in there so that we can kind of regulate you know, either or uh, depending but uh, anyway if you guys want to watch the complete build you can click up in the top right hand corner of me building the smokehouse we appreciate you stopping by thanks a whole lot we hope each and every one of you have a fantastic day take care and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time